few minutes right now we're going to go to the phone and bring in troy rank who writes about the broncos for the denver post broncos pick up a, a, a semi big name today antonio smith a defensive lineman who uh, was let go by the raiders he's going into his 11th season in the nfl troy how will antonio smith fit into the broncos defensive line well new defensive line coach bill kohler wants to use guys in waves and so in antonio smith he has a guy who can play some handy or, or tackle defensive tackle this creates depth that they didn't have. Smith may push for a starting spot, a defensive tackle. When you look at uh, the competition, it's Sylvester Williams and Marvin Austin. But the two guys they added in free agency, Vance Walker and Antonio Smith, are versatile players who can play end or tackle. And in Smith's case, he is very good as a defensive tackle in terms of producing a pass rush. Not so much against the run, uh, but he has been really good. Even last year, graded out third in the – NFL in terms of defensive tackle pass rush grade. So an interesting signing for the Broncos. I find Troy. I'm disappointed because uh, we've seen three or four rooms of your house, and you're not on Skype today, so we can't see uh, your barbecue grill out back or something. But uh, it's great that you joined us, uh, Chris. I want you to ask him a question. You are now in charge. You, what would you like to know as the head man with the Nuggets of a guy who's uh, talking about the Broncos? <laughs> I want to know. You were just Demar- going to I, I just want to know when Demarius Thomas is going to show up, and that's what I want to know. <laughs> I said earlier, Demarius was in town yesterday. Troy, uh, he flew in yesterday, and he's floating around here. He's certainly not a Duke, but going back, you said something interesting because I didn't, I didn't know much about Antonio, but that if that works out as you're talking about, they could use uh, Sly Williams. Uh, or Marvin Austin Jr. on the first two downs and bring him in for a third down guy or move him inside. Derek Wolf's done that in, in his Well, in can, can he play nose, though? Can he play nose tackle? Well, but that's what he's talking uh, about. Yeah. It seemed to me, could he play? He, you wouldn't really need a functional, uh, typical nose tackle on third down, would you? Right, that, and that's part of the reason when they let Terrence Knighton go, they didn't want to. They didn't want to pay what Terrence wanted, and and in this new scheme with uh, Wade Phillips, he has used a lighter defensive lineman in that spot as well. He's had huge guys in Ted Washington, but he's also gone with lighter players, so he can. Ideally, you would want him in on more of passing down, obvious passing down. Again, his grade against the run last year was awful. I mean, there's no getting around that. But the reality is. Throughout his career as a defensive tackle, he's produced a consistent pass rush. So if you're not asking him to be an every-down player, he can be very effective if you use him in situations. And again, last year for a guy who was, you know, he's, he's going to be 33, he is 33, he played 791 snaps last year. So he should be more effective by playing less, in my opinion, not unlike they need to do with DeMarcus Ware. Wade said, uh, and it's interesting you brought up what you did, because Wade said... Look at Greg Cragen. Now, we're going back to an entirely different era. But 1980s. Cragen was a guy who was about six feet tall and weighed about 240. He said, I want a guy in there that's very mobile. He can work both sides of the center, and he can come from different directions, and he can hold his spot. And that sounds like uh, you're describing Antonio Smith as the exact kind of guy that uh, Wade Phillips wants there. Yeah, and more than anything, as you just mentioned, they want versatility. They believe uh, new defensive line coach Bill Kolar is one of the best in the NFL at what he does. They think he's going to make Sylvester Williams better, and this is a crossroads season for Sylvester Williams, no way around it. And they think he's going to make Marvin Austin better. And by giving Kolar pieces like Walker and Smith, it allows him to have these waves of guys and where he's not reliant on one or two players. And in the no-huddle offenses that many teams employ, you need extra defensive linemen. And they, they want to have six functional guys who they can trust. And that's why Antonio, Antonio Smith, while clearly uh, an aged veteran, is an interesting signing for this team. For another team like the Raiders, he can only do so much. He's playing too much. And it, it almost renders him ineffective because he couldn't stop the run. But on this team, with a more limited role, you could see him having real value.